Now, from Fox 55 News, this is your local sports. Caleb and I didn't plan this matching thing, but it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Evening, everyone. Uh, seems like just yesterday, yesterday, Justin and I were at the Coliseum for high school football media day. Snap your finger, and the season's gone. Regular season will come to an end on Friday, meaning it's time to start looking ahead to the playoffs. Yes, the postseason is here. Almost one week of regular season left to go. Brackets for the 46th annual IHSAA State Tournament were released earlier tonight. So let's go through it class by class. We begin in 1A, sectional 43. Four teams currently ranked top 10 in the state. Number four, Southwood. Got as good a draw as you can ask for. They'll host Eastside. Winner of that will take on either Fremont or Southern Wells. Down on the bottom half, number two, Adams Central, will have to travel to Northfield in a top 10 matchup at Busco as the Eagles host South Adams. In 2A sectional 34, tough task for Woodland. They'll open at number four, Bremen. Also on the top half, Central Noble playing host to Wabash. Brent Kunkel's Bluffton Tigers draw a road matchup with Manchester. Winner of that will get the winner of Whitco Prairie Heights. We move to 3A, and this is... What the bracket looks like in sectional 28, West Noble on pace to have its best season since 05. They'll travel to take on Norwell, awaiting the winner of that one, either Heritage or Lures. Bottom half won't be easy for Concordia. They have to go to Lakeland, Belmont versus Garrett. Rounds us out in that one. Two sectionals in the northeast part of the state in Class 4A. In sectional 19, an NEH showdown between champion East Noble and a much improved DeKalb team. Meanwhile, number seven, Angola, currently undefeated. They're the defending sectional champs. They beat Culver in the title game a year ago. They get them in the first round this year. That'll be interesting. Staying in 4A, move down to sectional 20, couple of SAC foes. Going at it in the first round, Wayne versus Southside. New Haven versus Columbia City. Eagles got the best of the Bulldogs in the regular season. Maybe some revenge for New Haven. Leo will have to make the long trip down to Jay County, while top-ranked Dwinger draws an even longer trip to Logansport. Just two teams of local interest in 5A. Northside will travel to take on Elkhart Central in sectional 10. Winner of that one moves on to play Goshen in the semifinals, Huntington North, meanwhile, they're having their best season since 2014. They're on the road against West Lafayette Harrison to open play in sectional 11. And finally, in 6A, it's all SAC in sectional number three, and this thing is wide open. Snyder has won 11 sectionals in a row, but they're playing a Carroll team that beat them handily early in the season. Winner of that game will get either Homestead or Northrop in the championship. Of course, Sparty handled the Bruins pretty easily all the way back in week one in August. So there's a look at the brackets for 6A. The tournament begins October 26th. rest of the tournament for 5A through 1A will begin October 19th. From the